information on what is the effect of the starting height of a BB on its speed throughout the roller coaster. Roller coasters first evolved from ice slides in 17th century Russia. And then, one day, someone decided that it would be fun if they put two wheels on the ice slides and invented a new type of ride. They decided to call this the roller coaster. And out of this evolved the first two roller coasters, which were called Rusis Abelville, which translates to Mountains of Russia in Russian, and the Aerial Walk, which was in France, and it's similar to a dragon coaster that children ride today. Then, one day, the first looping coaster was created at Frascati Gardens in France, and it included only a small hill and a loop. For a while, this was a popular attraction until people started having complaints of back pain from the ride. And due to this fact, the ride started losing money and it had to close down later. In the 1960s, Disneyland was opened. Disneyland was the first of its kind. It was a theme park. And one of the most popular attractions at Disneyland was the Matterhorn, which was a roller coaster. And as Disneyland was making so much money off of this roller coaster, many people decided to copy off Disneyland and make a roller coaster like the Matterhorn. But not all of these places were successful, as Disneyland was a big entertainment attraction, and it was the first of its kind, and it had brought a new step to the progress of roller coaster history. Then, in the 1970s, Knott's Berry Farm created the first modern inverting roller coaster, which was called the Corkscrew, and it was the basis of what we ride today in roller coasters. It had many inversions and many hills and loops, and it created a fun experience for all the riders. Although all these parks had some fun with their roller coasters, roller coaster safety was very important to everyone as they didn't want any injuries from their ride. Roller coasters needed to be launched correctly so they wouldn't fail. And if they did attempt, if they did attempt and fail, then it would have to roll back safely into the station so that no one was injured and nothing bad happened. And also, roller coasters would stay in motion unless stopped by the ride operator. And because of this fact, it was very important that the roller coasters had many brackets that kept them onto the track so that nobody fell off and no cars fell off and everybody was okay throughout the ride and had enough fun. This lab will prove that the starting height of a BB will affect the speed that the BB travels at. And the BB will be tested at many different heights to prove the accuracy of this experiment and that the hypothesis was supported or unsupported. This is the roller coaster I made and I will be testing it with the magnet used to test it at a height without human force. You heard a click at the end because there's a magnet and the magnet does not propel the BB throughout the roller coaster at all. All the magnet does is make sure that it comes out of the roller coaster safely and that you hear a noise at the end so that you know when the roller coaster is done and that it's completed the course without fail. In my data table, all of the points lined up accurately with all of the hypothesis being supported that it would go faster at higher heights, except for one point, which was trial three like three. And at trial three like three, the BB traveled sh slower than it should have and faster than it should have at different times because in one of the trials, the BB slowed down near the end of the roller coaster and didn't complete the course. And this created a spot in the roller coaster that made it harder for the rest of the BBs to complete the track of the roller coaster. But as you can see on the graph, it goes through the point of zero and each point was accurately plotted on the graph even though that one strayed from the line. Because even though one strayed, they still were able to line up in a different order from where they were before making the line accurately placed and having two below and two above. Some observations were made through the course of the experiment. The BB stopped near the end on trial one length one, and this was another factor that created a spot in the roller coaster. And it also stopped again in trial three length three. But we had to retry these trials, and after that, they both worked. The roller coaster sometimes slowed down near the end after the failures, and the height was the same in all the trials when the height of the roller coaster board was measured but the length of the tube varied in the trials, which was a problem with some of the elaborate decorations and being hard to measure. The BB was hard to track through the course of the roller coaster, which was another problem with the elaborate decorating that I put on the roller coaster. And if this was repeated, there wouldn't be as many decorations. Sometimes the roller coaster went faster at higher heights, which supports the hypothesis. So it was hypothesized that the speed of the BB would be dependent on the height of the roller coaster, with higher heights traveling faster through the course of the roller coaster. The hypothesis was supported by the, all the graph and data tables, except one average did not line up due to the magnet used and one of the BB slowing down. On the graph, all the data points were accurately placed on the line with two above and two below the line and the line traveling through zero. And this proved that all the data was accurate and supported the hypothesis. The data found again supported the hypothesis and higher heights caused it to increase. However, some errors were made throughout the course of the experiment. 
such as the first trial being started up here instead of in a marked point as it was supposed to be. And this used human force, which could have led a factor in the experiment and could have affected the fact that it was slowing down near the end. Some other things that, some other errors were that the duct tape that held all the tubing down seemed to pull up a lot. And if this experiment was repeated, I would use brackets and nails instead of using duct tape to hold down all of the parts of the roller coaster. The final error is that there were many decorations placed on the roller coaster, making the BB hard to track and not go as fast and not as, and not able to be as observed as it could have. These results show how precise roller coasters need to be to work in the real world and just how precise a lot of mechanical things are. Roller coaster designing is hard and if a further experiment was tested, it would by hypothesize that large, if a further experiment was created, it would be tested with larger BBs and how the size of a BB affected the speed and mass of the object. And it would be hypothesized that larger BBs would travel faster throughout the course of the roller coaster and that they would make a difference on the roller coaster. And this experiment connected to the real world in designing and building safe things and the preciseness of how things need to be. In conclusion, roller coasters had an evolution process that, came, that started with 17th century ice slides and evolved into what we see today. However, they were all concerned about safety, as I was in this roller coaster and the safety was very important to everybody. This lab proved that the starting height of a BB affected its speed very well, and that the starting height, when it was higher starting height, the BB would travel faster throughout the course of the experiment. And all the data supported this, except for one point that strayed from the line, although the graph had two above and two below. The data all supported the hypothesis, with all the averages lining up except for one. And the data found all supported the hypothesis again. Higher heights caused it to increase, there were a couple errors, however, the experiment was altogether successful and really helped me learn how precise roller coaster designing and everything designing is in the real world and how safe and how important roller coaster safety is to make the roller coasters that we have fun in and see today. Alright, so Allison, we're gonna move into that QA session.